but thank you again for joining us. Um, let's just kind of get into it, man. Can you kind of explain a little bit more about what LoFi aims to be? Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, LoFi project is actually a utility NFT project. So we are not a and the PFP NFT project. We are not a RTC NFT project, but we're uh, kind of converging and evolving into uh, like uh, those emerging. Uh, yeah, PFP and the RTC NFT, but now just we are focusing on uh, utility and the project. And then actually LoFi is a user-based project where uh, LoFi launches a platform and the Web3 lifestyle watch to earn platform. And then as you guys know, and then we are driving kind of really hard, uh, LoFi it really wants our viewer and the watcher and fans uh, to deserve more. I mean, this is so that we can uh, make viewers in the lead in the streaming ecosystem just by watching and earning and contributing to uh, sustainable in the streaming industry. So LoFi Patch is a utility NFT, like I said, enables users to earn utility token, uh, which is buzzed and the game token while watching streaming content on Twitch. We are supporting Twitch right now, but we will uh, kind of support in a multi uh, stream platform like YouTube and the TikTok Live and Instagram and then, and then mid October or late October. So uh, yeah, this is really, uh, we have a, a kind of two big missions. And the first mission is to reinvent and a healthier streaming ecosystem. And then second mission is to bridge between and the web three and the web two um, like connections. This is where we are. Well, awesome. Yeah. So I, I've been using the, the, the app uh, quite a bit here the past few um, uh, days since, since it was announced that we had a partnership. I think I have somewhere between five or six um, buzz, um, which is the, the in, in app cool. currency. <laughs> Um, so, right. uh, and, and it, it's, a, it, and, and I know that you guys just kind of upped the, or lowered the requirements a little bit on our and but it's, it's a bit of a grind to get, um, a buzz. Like it doesn't, it doesn't take, you know, you have to watch quite a bit, but I, I'm the kind of person that loves watching streamers. I'm a big, big gamer fan. So mm, I, I, it's cool. very easy for me. The one thing that I am curious about is the integration aspect of it. Cause right now it feels like it's an app wrapped in twitch right so yeah. i the other day i was um <clears throat> i was trying to cast onto my tv um which everything was going fine um but it it, it kept um and, and this was probably twitch's integration not necessarily your all's app but uh i started running out of um i started running out of stamina uh in the app uh, which is mm-hmm. one thing i wanted to talk to you about uh here later but um the other thing is that i wanted to participate in chat right because one of my favorite streamers uh i like to make jokes because I, I think i'm a funny man so i like to i like to make jokes while the person's streaming and I, I couldn't because uh i would have to sign into twitch and that integration's not there so I, i'm curious to know is that on the board is that a plan for you guys to kind of um fully integrate with twitch is that something that has to uh get approved by amazon or, or what's what's that look like there uh, that's our uh, one of our kind of roadmap, and then to have a perfect like uh, yeah combination and the full uh, support and collaboration with Twitch. But right now, and the LoFi EQ as um, uh, can play a significant role in the, in the two ways. First one is uh, just Web three uh, kind of lifestyle and the watch the own platform, and then and to uh, provide the rewards and our users while watching the twitch content but in the second uh like mission is to some kind of creating app just where and then uh, users and who are already watching enjoying uh consuming and then content in twitch and then youtube and TikTok live in the future but and then they can just earn an extra money and they while uh, enjoying just uh, what they're whatever they're kind of favorite in the streaming platform so uh, I'm not sure just how fast just we can have a like, perfect integration with the Twitch in the future, uh, but for now, and we can uh, can enable our users to kind of on the chat um, in the screenshot. But the uh, our dev team is also kind of uh, driving really hard to uh, give as better and like perfect UI UX and the onboarding mechanism, and then and then making the people and the feel like much more comfortable than and they are using um, like YouTube and Twitch and then just whatever streaming platforms are. Now, uh, just we're gonna, our kind of target is to make our kind of users feel just like using uh, Twitch and YouTube a lot kind of better than they were using it. So integration for your question, integration in a time frame. Just we're not kind of 100% sure because we're 
uh, like driving and focusing on viewing, watcher and the fans. And then, yeah, watch some platform right now as a creating app. So, yeah, we will see just how it goes. I know. And then we are always kind of thinking and trying to make our users to feel much more comfortable than uh, the watching content in Twitch and YouTube. But we will see just how they fast. Yeah, no, uh, t totally understand that. Uh, what, one thing that I, I've noticed is that, um, you know, it's kind of a one sided app right now. I know, I know, um, you know, some of the things that you guys aim to be, but right now it seems uh, to be a very uh, watch to earn. Uh, is there any uh, future plans to incorporate the actual streamers involved in here? So to have them get paid out um, based on how many people are streaming them, is that on on the roadmap or anything? Or is this kind of just really for that, that person who, who wants to watch? Oh uh, yeah, I mean, actually, this is really uh, kind of important questions, and then too, and they have actually, and the viewer, and they're focusing only solely in the viewer and fans and watchers right now, and then before that, and then our open beta, and then actually release and launching in September fifth, and then only uh, compatible with a starter uh, NFT patch, which is for free. The main purpose of these two, and then the give. On our users are a uh, web three and they watch the earning experience which rather than just giving them kind of huge monetary value first and as soon as our users get used to uh, those um the web three and they watch the earning experience like and then uh, just like the play term and the mood term uh something like the watch term as a next paradigm of the platform so as soon as uh just we can um, make our users get used to it we're gonna try to uh, release and uh, launch our nft and lo-fi patch nft and it to be sold in bybit and the okx in the september september 29th and with the form of mr fox but in sense and then mr fox is revealed and then first week of october and then that way uh, the users can embed and then utilize those uh, utility NFT, lo-fi patch NFT into lo-fi EQ and then to experience like more features, like uh, like more uh, higher earning rate and then can donate what they've earned to their favorite streamers and then just um, make their ranking, donation, donator ranking and the streamers ranking and that they can uh, manipulate and then in order to kind of burn um, what they've earned a boss token, but now just we are trying to limit it to the feature only like watch to earn, um, but like a lot of features like shops and the inventory and then the purchasing more kind of features and donation feature and then like to be added and then early or mid October. Uh, this is our first phase to make it happen, but the right after that and what we are doing right now and we are we have like really cool like demographic and where um our lo-fi eq users and now it's more than more than three thousand right now and then we uh, are tracking down exactly and then who and then what streamers and then are kind of built from our lo-fi eq users and we are contacting those streamers like explaining them and what the lo-fi project is and then this many lo-fi eq streamers are watching your content i mean thanks for creating your ip and then this like small portion of buzz are being like automatically can kind of allocated and then donating your wallet in the database and then those streamers and they can on the buzz or earn um like I like burn this buzz token to make their ranking higher in the leaderboard and then that's coming soon. And then those streamers, I mean, always kind of saying that just why not? And then those streamers and then need only one thing and then money. Money is equal to more subscribers and the more followers that will be kind of you know, freely on board from our lo-fi EQ. So to your question, uh, now we are focusing on watch to earn and with the startup part and they give you more kind of easy experience for the watch to earning. And then after that, we're going to embed as many on the watch to earning features as possible in, in order our users to more enjoy and the feature after that and the stream turn platform and then like combining and the watch turn stream turn. I mean, that's kind of evolving into the you know, web three stream platform and the, as a kind of replacement of YouTube and, and Twitch and then the Twitter in the future. This is what uh, we are kind of driving really hard and then targeting to and then and the Q1 in the next year. Okay, yeah, that, ma that makes total sense. Uh, I feel like maybe I did a disservice to some of the people listening. Um, I've been I've been a fan of the app for, for a few weeks now, so I've been playing with it, but 
I guess maybe I, I some people out there haven't jumped on yet, Ryan. Maybe I think some people haven't. Uh, so I think maybe we're getting too into the weeds uh, on some of the questions that I've asked, and that's my fault. So I apologize. But maybe let's, let's back no, out for a second. Do you have like a maybe a, a pitch deck of some kind or something that maybe you can show? Just kind of. Oh uh, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, of course. So. Um, because uh because i'd love to kind of run through that and maybe um hit the beats that you guys kind of present that in because um <clears throat> i just got some feedback from somebody who has no idea what this was coming into it oh, and they're, they're yeah, a little yeah, confused yeah. and again i think it's because of the pacing that i've set and that's that's my fault um so it'd be great if maybe we can kind of go through that pitch deck and kind of just talk and maybe i can ask some questions on that oh yeah sure yeah sure that's not a problem i'm gonna try to see you guys and our the latest pitch deck update okay Okay, here it's running. Just can't you guys see? Uh, lo fi in the watch to earn platform. And this is our latest kind of updated pitch deck. Yep, it's a great, all right. It's yeah, a like I said, uh, this is actually a simplified version. Uh, I don't want uh, like any of our users and community members like to be slipping in before yeah, moving to uh, football play. Watch it, right. <laughs> Uh, all right. So uh, our project is the utility of the project and totally powered by viewer. We are focusing on uh, and kind of viewer and the watcher and fans. And our bakers are actually really kind of uh, reputable. Those guys on uh, onboarding and the Binance, OKX, and Bybit of the Crypto.com. We are working with the Crypto.com to and sell our LoFi patch NFT. Also, can list our LoFi governance token into the platform. And the Gem Fund and the powered by Sequire. And IOSD, and then, uh, yeah, Dodo Crowd Pulling and the Game Starter, we completed our IDO. And also, and then you guys, I really value in the Metaverse and then HQ and the community members, all the whales, and then really kind of avid members, uh, really have a like, forward thinking mind. So, yeah, you know, watching streaming content is a part of, part of life, and then, as we know, but you know, watching content like, has never been considered to be serious. I mean, always my my mom and dad like telling me, "Hey Ryan, I mean, please do more productive after work." But they don't even know, and then how much valuable time I just spent on the couch and then lying on the kind of couch. I mean, learning something and relieving my stress. But they don't even know. But the what if? And we are trying to give our user um, like as much kind of monetary value possible by watching streaming content and by giving them financial freedom, by watching like um, after job as a part-timer, or it could be a full-timer. And then the more lo-fi patch NFT users purchase, the higher earning rate, but like more like higher and then the decent uh, the gamification aspect of the, uh, and the features can be used. And the Web2, uh, I'm gonna share the Web2 like current like problem where uh, right now on the big platform and Twitch and YouTube, uh, so many tweeters and then also famous streamers are ripping and the most of the wealth and the public interest or the money where uh, whereas and then although just our viewers are making huge of this kind of streaming ecosystem and the streaming industry but the time we are spending and watching is totally undervalued and then not estimated at all I'm not trying to be kind of uh, reimburse, uh, like trying to kind of make the uh, like equal equilibrium and between uh, equilibrium of the power between viewers, watchers, and fans, and streamers without uh, like very big and the platforms like to be a decentralized independent product industry. This is what we're dreaming to, and it was in a waste of time, but to be a productive time. So this is Lo-Fi EQ, like everybody knows that, and then we were uh, invited to NFT and IC, and then have and then meet all the uh, FBHQ members and other really kind of cool the projects there, and then to have partnership with in the future. And then, yeah, as I said, um, we are playing uh, as a tool, can see significant roles in uh, watch to earn like platform, also creating app where like Twitch and YouTube can be played on top of our Lo-Fi EQ. And now just we are limited to the starter part of so free earning rate is very low and the stamina is kind of limited, kind of 40 minutes a day uh, and like our NFT and then to have more earning rate and to have a longer time of watching. So 
and then our users are earning buzz token, uh, which is the game token, and then our goals token, LoFi, is going to be listed on Crypto.com and then Bybit. But before that, we're going to try to just put it on the pancake swap, and then September 9th, and all of guys, and then valuable members here in MBH, you guys, and they can and trade or kind of sell it on the uh, pancake swap decks and then as of September 30th but uh, I don't want to recommend you guys to do that because and then we are planning to and uh, release a lot of good news uh, good news but you know, trying to and it's better to hold anyway so uh, our is a uh, very straightforward they want you to earn and enhance the lo-fi patch the more lo-fi patch and users purchase a higher earning rate the more features they can enjoy at the same time just like step in uh, like they can upgrade their gears like recharging and repair and then increase like attributes something like that on top of that and then the more importantly just our the lo-fi and the project is more like touching and the streaming ecosystems like eagle of like donator and the viewers and watchers who have like tendency to donate uh, like cash or credit card using just whatever method that they have but and that they can like donate the lo-fi and a buzz token and that they that they've earned into their favorite streamers that way and then they're kind of like more have kind of room for on the donating kind of more like hard and more money on it on top of that also at the same time and we have lofa eq have our kind of leaderboard uh, which is kind of ranking system where like donator ranking and streamers ranking and all of that uh, we are solely focusing on watch to earn and viewer and fans watchers right now but in the future in streamers and also and we have their own little board and then that way uh like a buzz and then and the streamers got received and donated and then to burn and then make their ranking higher to make their kind of banners to advertise uh some kind of streamers who have and a less kind of viewer and then they uh, i mean lo-fi eq and the lo-fi station will be a best place for kind of those uh kind of weak streamer right now i don't want to say uh kind of weak but the, uh, the streamers who have kind of lower and then low kind of subscribers streamers and and then the lo-fi eq will be kind of playing really kind of powerful for not only those streamers but the viewer and the fans and watchers so and we completed and our ideal uh, like which is probably say on 26 or 29th of August and then it was successfully completed and then 100% sold out and then September 5th, 5th and as we planned and the lo-fi EQ release and the 29th of September like in the next week and then we're gonna then sell our lo-fi in the patch NFT uh, on the Bybit NFT platform and the OKN NFT platform so and then those will be available just as whoever um, like yeah, and then have attention to it, and you guys purchase it, and then one, uh, yeah, wallet address can purchase a maximum of three, and then each NFT like thirty three in the BUSD. I mean, it's pretty cheap in the ROI return of investment about a month. But and then I would kind of recommend and then purchase more than three because then to increase the stamina and uh, which is watching time or more earning rate, things like that. And a three patch or nine patch would be uh, again ideal. And rather than uh, like before, kind of purchasing fifteen or thirty is the NFT, and you need to uh, again uh, get a few more kind of comfortable and then using it. So and the three NFT, I mean, to be uh, recommendable. And the twentieth of October, we're planning to uh, at least a uh, low five commons token on the buy bit. Uh, confirmed, but at the same time, crypto.com and also an OKX, and the, which is best scenario. But the other kind of platforms that we are kind of closely working with, uh, at least like three exchanges in the number to be listed. And then finally, and then one of the biggest events, um, this is kind of uh, to be confirmed uh, very soon. But Binance NFT DEX platform, just we will and then trying to sell the uh our uh, kind of left over and the nft and hopefully not on the binance nft but actually this is what we're kind of roadmap so yeah i mean if you guys have any questions and they show me to anything i'm happy to kind of answer them all yeah no i think that's a great uh maybe not an overview but a great like walkthrough of what exactly we're looking at here uh and and one thing that i as, as someone that's been using it, uh, and I mentioned this earlier, is the stamina aspect of it. So you're telling me that uh, the, po the pod NFT that I get, um, that's going to carry the stamina. So if I have more than one or if I have one that's maybe a higher level, is, is the, will that allow me to 
to watch it's to stream uh, streamers and uh, longer and acquire more buzz. Oh yeah, no, just actually like I said, uh, like each uh, lo-fi and patch NFT and it provides a certain the stamina which is uh, on, like a watching time. And then like, for example, if our kind of, if you have kind of one uh, lo-fi patch NFT and then you are allowed to watch only 40 minutes a day. And then if you have and the two lo-fi patch, it's gonna be multiplied two and then have three patch multiply, multiply by three, but it, it's not kind of linearization, uh, but the more patch NFT our users purchase, the more uh, kind of longer time and our users can watch or a higher earning rate, I mean, to be added up. I mean, depending on just how hard you are upgrading your kind of pot by putting gems and by increasing attribute on each asset, something like that. So, and the two increase the stamina and the unit to purchase more NFT. But we, I mean, I mean like a couple of the uh, kind of purposes of doing that, we are trying to kind of uh, to avoid kind of addiction and then to the people and who have no idea what the what the lo-fi project is and then because there are tons of kind of groups of the people and who just enjoy watching just rather than earning buzz and then for them uh just like providing them some kind of on uh, the website watch the earning experience and rather than just giving the buzz and oriented so yeah this is uh where we are okay that makes that makes total sense uh I, th- I think uh you know it's reasonable you can't you can't earn buzz all the time uh you, you know you have to, sure. to with everything with moderation so um a great question was brought up here by uh mitch who i think you've you've met uh but uh sure. he, he asked uh, if there's any plan to launch your own streaming service uh in lofi's app so is that maybe the ultimate goal here is to maybe support these streaming services with the intent of maybe upstarting your own streaming service uh through the app yeah exactly so and then you exactly know just what i want to say just let me uh show you and it's something cool just give me a sec uh, i'm gonna show you all right okay so yeah actually this is really good point i mean uh in terms of the sustainability and then lo-fi is not like stagnant in just like watch to earn we're kind of putting as many and a diverse business and arms as possible and then other kind of platforms in the streaming ecosystem there are tons of assets and that we can add on top of our current business so this is a lo-fi uh, kind of tokenomics and where the lo-fi has a lot of kind of aspect gamification aspect and the social fight aspect all the plan and then we have to burn our buzz and earn our buzz. But here in the future, and this is very kind of important extension, just like I said, uh, and since we got enough hype in the front of watch to earn, we're gonna move it to get stream to earn, and then they combine them uh, like both together, and we will launch our donation platform oriented. So we will add the donation feature uh, in a month, and uh, where and the people and they can donate that they've earned to their favorite streamers. But uh, here in the queue, the one in lecture and a donation platform like to be an official launch it that would be a private membership platform for the streamers and then like, to, pro- to to protect their ip in the lo-fi station where they can freely upload their content on top of um they upload like on um, what they've upload on twitch and youtube something like that and our lo-fi EQ platform also and then to be a um like places for like like where the streamers and the viewers are harmonized with each other, just like hang around and then have ended up being in like Q2 and the next year. And then we call it Lo-Fi Station, which is gonna be a, a very strong community for streamers, fans and viewers and watchers. And then that's gonna be in the web series streaming platform where and then we don't have to be like like too stressful about like and then attracting the viewers and fans and the streamers with tons of like contract money and like the deposit and stuff like that. We're gonna just like allowing them to play uh, on our kind of playground and uploading and downloading and like talking and the video chatting, something like that. And it's a form of some kind of Discord, it's a form of YouTube and Twitch as a replacement of those and the very big uh kind of stream platform this is where our our we are kind of dreaming of the web three streaming platform and then that's going to be in the replacing with and the current the web two uh system because a lot of people are looking for 
and they really can and seeing the web three streaming uh, platform. But there are like couple of competitors, but they are still like focusing on and what focusing on streamers with the tons of kind of and the money. Uh, they having some kind of contract, like asking or begging them to uh, upload their contents into their platform. But we don't want to do that, and that's why we are starting with on the watch them platform where like easily I mean, attract our users because just whoever and they who enjoy and then consuming and then content in Twitch and YouTube live and the TikTok live and the could be our potential users right? and they get the hype easily and they move to the next level like step by step. That makes makes a lot of sense. So start start here and then eventually lead to to something that maybe a little exactly. little bigger there. So uh, you know you mentioned that you guys are going to be partnering with streamers. Uh, can you share which streamers you guys are planning uh, to launch with and, and showcase uh, on the app? Oh uh, yeah, right now just uh, I can't uh, say the exact name of those streamers. But the, uh, like I said, we have like cool like demographic data where our lo-fi EQ users are and you know, watching those specific uh, kind of streamers. Specifically, just our lo-fi user are like normally watching like poker game and the low and the wow and just like just chatting and those streamers like in, in the state in the Korea and even in Japan and even in Africa. So we are, we've are we been kind of contacting those streamers like to explain what the lo-fi project is, uh, like a strong benefit over those kind of streamers. And then probably uh, in the November and then early December, I mean, those streamers will be kind of airdrop and then the lo-fi mic, and which will be a, uh, another and the utility NFT for the stream to earn platform. And then they will be just given on uh, those lo-fi mic and then they will kind of um, like uh, like promoting and then marketing our lo-fi mic, but and then because in the lo-fi in the parts which is our watchdog platform is like strongly aligned with lo-fi mic because one of our um, gamification aspect in the lo-fi EQ is that um, I mean just whoever and then who possess a lo-fi and the patch NFT just will have higher earning rate and when they watch um, for the streamers and the who project the lo-fi mic NFT. So those kind of uh, uh, like and then the gamification aspect and the streamers and the who wants kind of more users, not only from web three, but web two. And it will be really kind of welcoming and then lo-fi kind of EQ and the lo-fi project and the lo-fi kind of um, the NFT in the pot, lo-fi kind of mic, and then they will be really welcoming. But then we will uh, announcing and then which streamers are kind of in our kind of cooperation, in our kind of collaboration, and then where and the lo-fi team can manipulate and then our lo-fi EQ users to and then watch those streamers and to boost uh, their kind of subscribers, their followers, their content, stuff like that. And then that's coming very soon, uh, probably in, in this year. Right on. Uh, I hate you can't tell us, but obviously I know I know things like that are secret. Uh, I love it when when we we can like you know, yeah, sure yeah being teased out to. things. Mm-hmm. Um, well, awesome. Uh, uh, love love to to, to see that. Um, I guess um, you know are, are there uh, are there anything maybe that we haven't brushed up on that you maybe want to make sure we're aware of here with the app. Uh no, it's like we're uh yeah in the fine tuning these days. That I know I, I really can value uh, every single kind of feedback from uh, not only from the MVHQ community members, also other our community members, but also uh, we're uh, kind of making a kind of healthier streaming ecosystem. And this is our one of the biggest kind of missions to uh, kind of work on. So we are not just working the web two streaming industry, but the web two web three streaming industry, where like there's kind of no existing places that people are kind of um, Ethiopia were kind of dreaming of. So and then please stay tuned, and then just uh, every single kind of time you're watching and earning buzz, and it will be like contributing to a better and uh, streaming ecosystem. Uh, not only web three, but we are kind of starting to web starting from the web two, but it's going to be like influencing to having a great impact on the web three. 
Awesome. Well, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm out of the questions that I like had prepared for you. Uh, everything else is more like a support thing that I'll probably put in, in the support channel. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> right. uh, no, um, I, I love that. I want to make sure I open the floor for anyone here that wants to ask a question. Um, I know, uh, you know, you guys are welcome to jump on mic. Um, I trust everybody here. Uh, does anyone here have a question? It's okay if you don't, but I want to make sure we, uh, you know, while we got Ryan here, might as well. Well, yeah, just, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to answer any questions that you guys have. Um, I know just we're not aggressively in the marketing and the promoting yet, because like I said, we are trying to give like Web3 earning experience to our users with a limited uh, kind of features right now, but uh, tens of eleventh is will be the kind of the date for the grand and open and the grand kind of integration with like other uh, like features like shop inventory or like the gems like everything open and then as soon as we are kind of doing that, the more and more kind of users will be onboarding and then Lofi team also aggressively kind of marketing and promoting and to attract more users on top of that. But before that, and I know you guys have kind of limited. Uh, I'm kind of I'm having a hard time for the limited uh, kind of stamina and then to limit kind of watching time, but <laughs> we're trying to kind of make it kind of longer and then make it happen and then make it more kind of smooth very soon. Yeah, I mean, I just I just want to keep using your all's app. <laughs> that's, that's where I'm sure, at. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. <laughs> why not? Um, yeah. Again, it, it, so like like tonight, um, and I know Amazon limits uh, third party apps sometimes on certain kinds of content. So uh, last week I was like, guys, we just got this great partnership throw on Thursday night football and you can watch it through Emma, you know, on, on Twitch. Unfortunately it it blocks it (laughs) because (laughs) of its streaming rights with, um, with Amazon. But, um, but, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm constantly finding ways. I'm like, I I have uh, uh, streamers that I watch their videos later on YouTube, but now I've been catching them live too. Cause I'm like, Hey, I'll just watch an hour of my, my favorite, you know, content creator stuff on Twitch um, because I can, I can grab some buzz for it. So um, it, it's been, it's been, it's been, been fun. My, my biggest hang up has been either the stamina or every time I click on something, it says feature coming, coming soon. Right. Uh, but yeah, obviously sure. that's because this is, the way. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but obviously yeah. I know you guys are, are building. That being said, I really appreciate um, your willingness to answer questions and to help. I know you guys got a support channel down here for anyone that does have questions. Um, and uh, we just are really, really, um, you know, it's a pleasure to, to, to talk to you and to, and to kind of maybe, um, you know, learn a little bit more about the project. And I want to thank you for your time. Mm-hmm. Everybody listening. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, feel free. Free to, to drop Ryan any kind of questions in the chat um, later on, and, and, and he'll be able to to help out. But uh, Ryan, thank you so much, man. Uh, Mitch, did you have something? Yeah, I just wanted to uh, Ryan right. Ryan H. Thank you, by the way, <laughs> great hosting, um, asking the questions. Ryan Co. Uh, nice to hear from you, again, brother. Um, I know it's been some since uh, our visit in Korea, but just to give everyone some context here, uh, I didn't want to leave Korea empty-handed. I think a partnership with Lo-Fi was sort of my pasalubong in a way in Philippines. It's uh, the food you bring back home to your parents after a trip. So, uh, you know, with those regards, Lo-Fi, uh, when I had met them, you know, Ryan, when I had met your team, I think there's a lot to be said, especially in the NFT space around teams that are independently funded, that don't need uh, funding, that aren't re- reliant on funding from uh, an NFT launch per se, whether that be uh, a raise on the back end. Um, and, you know, as, your team really surprised me as far as like how deep uh, your team was and how involved and integrated they were. Ryan, can you, can you tell us a little bit about uh, the team and who is building LoFi, how many uh, people you have on board uh, doing what? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, just actually, it was really uh, kind of great time just when NBHQ members and Jacob and then, yeah, and then James and then Mitch and then Vision our office to have a quick meeting and to introduce our every single and the lo-fi kind of projects and members. Uh, actually, we have like total kind of 16 members of the team. And then, and then, I mean, just we have kind of eight developers and then those are 
like senior kind of developers and first tech developers, and then three designers and then two planners, and then two uh, kind of co-founders and CEOs and in charge of the strategy uh, in the Web3 and then the business development. And then we're mostly based in South Korea, but we will have a branch in LA in the stage very soon. And then and that will kind of enable a you know, lo-fi project to boost. And then they having more partnerships and they having more um, like kind of venture capital kind of opportunity in the future and then very soon. But at the same time, uh, our uh, kind of team is really kind of great and to achieve goal. And then lo-fi team consists of world-class storytellers and designers. And then from the Ruiz Fitness and then IBM, and then Amazon and the web services, and then also and then me and co-founder and our CTO, and then and they worked at the Samsung for more than kind of five to eight years as an engineer, as a kind of international BD. So that's why we are really kind of confident about our kind of every single deliverables. Actually, we our company started from the 2019 as a kind of AI. Um, modeling just AI developing and the deep learning and those image processes and stuff like that. But yeah, we uh, just transitioned and then uh, just moved to kind of web three and from web two. But the yeah, we are kind of confident and then we are kind of avidly seeing the uh, very kind of blue chip and then very kind of great opportunity in the web three industry. And then that that's why just we kind of low fi team really kind of happy to meet kind of MVHQ uh, kind of team. Uh, those are really dedicated to their kind of web three industry, and not only just sincerely their kind of um, intelligent brain, but also diligent mind, and we're kind of delivering every single kind of good things. And to your MVH community members, this uh, where I really kind of value those things. And then, yeah, with that being said, and all of our team members are sixteen, but we are trying to kind of hire more, and then to uh, have more uh, like develop in our app. And then a couple, couple of um, developers and a couple of designers and planning as well to try to make it 20 kind of on the, on the members in, in 2000, kind of two right now. Got it. Um, yeah, appreciate the rundown. I'm blushing for the, the kind words. I'm sure, um, you know, I, that's what I want you to be able to highlight is that your team is incredibly uh, positioned. Your POV is from a Web2 background, right? So as you look to navigate the web3 space uh it seems that a lot of your inspiration was from step in and some like prior use cases uh to create this app which is really cool because you could tell your web2 prowess and experience shines um with just the beta form of this app uh i want to make sure that we get a sense because you're speaking to a western audience um you know that you know there are real resources behind this lo-fi team, behind your team, uh, pushing this to succeed in, in another part of the world that is like, you know, uh, a little bit um, cut off from, you know, our market. Right. That's right. Yeah. So, and then we are um, the targeting just not only like states, but also European countries, even East Asia and then Southeast Asia, and then even in Africa. So it's no matter who are enjoying like consuming on the content in Twitch and the YouTube live and the TikTok live and the we are potential users and then we really want our kind of viewers and fans and watchers like to be deserved more. So this is what we are kind of working on it. Excellent. Well, uh, again, uh, thanks for, for stepping in there, uh, Mitch, and kind of like defining a little bit more about, about our partnership and, and, you know, why, why, why this team is so um, fascinating. And, and Ryan, uh, again, thank you for, for kind of walking us through it, kind of showing us a little bit more about the product. Um, for everyone out there, um, you know, we, we have a partnership with them. If you're, if you're listening to this later on or if you don't know that now. Uh, where you can earn the not just buzz, but you can earn LoFi token, um, which will be, um, you know, publicly traded uh, here soon. Uh, so you you are um, you know entitled to an airdrop depending on your involvement here. I think the first thing you got to do is create an account. Uh, second thing you have to do is you have to generate what, five buzz. I think we updated it to four buzz actually. Uh, so four buzz. Uh, and then the third step is 15 or 12, something around there. Actually 12, yeah. 
12. Okay. And then the last is to submit a uh, form uh, for right. feedback. Uh, and then you get uh, quite, a, is it like $1,000 uh, evaluated, um, but worth a buzz, right? Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. Now, that's going to be the tradable uh, as of September 30th of PancakeSwap. But the, uh, I would recommend you guys hold a little bit uh, since it's listed on the uh, CX in the mid October. Yeah, it will be like very more. And yeah, for sure. Yeah, it should be a cook uh, for sure. Uh, awesome. So, so I just want to make sure everyone listening out there is aware that the, this uh, this goes a little deeper than just uh, a a cool partnership with an app that you can make some money off of. This is um, um, uh, an app that we all um, can, you know, possibly get on the groundwork of. So uh, really excited uh, to have you here tonight, Ryan. Thank you so much. Uh, everyone, thank you for listening. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and adjourn. But uh, have a great uh, day, Ryan. Yeah, and, sure. Uh, I mean, thanks th- again. Yeah, man. I really appreciate it. And thanks for having me. Just the weekend that no pie team is trying to, like, always going to value in the ambience. You get the community members, and we're going to try to, uh, can implement implement as many and uh, cool events as possible exclusively and uh, to your community and uh, for the future very soon. Yeah, and then thank you for your time and uh, have a good night, guys. Later, bye, Ryan. Thank you. Hey, guys. Yeah, cheers. Yeah, have a great. You too. Mm-hmm. Cheers.